Welcome to the Puritan Bennett 980 Ventilator Training Video Series. The purpose of this series is to aid in the understanding of the operation of the ventilator. What I'll be doing is going uh, across each software and talking about a brief description of what the software is. Then I'll be talking about the settings associated with that software. And last, I'll be talking about associated alarms with that software. Now let's look at some of the hardware associated with the ventilator. Let's start with the on-off switch right on the front here. Next to that, you'll attach your filters that you'll need. There's the inspiratory filter. Then over on the left side, there is the expiratory filter with the latch. And so by lifting up the latch, you'll be able to put in the expiratory filter. Below that, there is the humidifier bracket to accept the humidifier. Over here on the side is a fan with a uh, filter that needs to be checked periodically. On the back of the unit, there's a number of communication ports. And so going down the items that are on back here, there is basically a button for the short self-test. Below that is a nurse call connection. There is a uh, ethernet cable connection below that. And then finally, there's an RS-232. If we look across, there is a connection on the lower side for a service rep to connect his laptop to. Above that is an HDMI connection, which is good for connecting, connecting a uh, LCD projector. And then above that are two USB ports, one of those which you can use to download pictures from the ventilator. Moving forward, on the next side of the ventilator are two batteries. The right battery, there is a little screw to the right side of it, and that battery needs to stay in the unit at all times. There is a hot swappable battery to the left of that one. So that one can be removed by moving the lever and popping that battery out. And here we have the display screen, which is separated into a number of sections. On the bottom is the bezel section. And so, for example, at the end of the bezel, we have a button here you can push for alarm silence. In the middle of the bezel section is a knob that you can rotate to adjust settings. Finally, the screen can actually move from side to side. So you can see the rotation.